Hi there, my name is Cynthia Wakil. I'm the Communication and Events Manager here at Corporate Staffing Services. Today we are going to be talking about the leadership and management training and I'm joined here by our lead trainer, Mr. Pamina Swainaina, who will tell us more about the training. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good, thank you for having me, Cynthia. All right, let's dive into it. Uh, tell me more about the leadership and management training we offer here at Corporate Staffing. Great. So this is a training that we've been offering for the last four years. And uh, we do focus on two groups. So the first group is newly promoted managers and supervisors. Now, it goes without saying that many companies, when they, they, when they identify someone who has potential, they will promote them to be in charge of a department, to be in charge of a section. But then you find sometimes the very same people we promoted is because they are good at what they do. Mm. For example, you, we can say you are very good at communication. Someone could be very good at accounting. Sales, then we promote them to a managerial or supervisory role. But you find the fact that they are good at their job, their day-to-day -day job, does not mean that they have leadership and management skills. Mm. So over time, you realize if the company had not taken the staff through a management or leadership program, then you find there might be a gap. So that's one group that we target, newly promoted managers and supervisors. So then now we can be able to equip them with the people management and leadership skills. Mm. And uh, for them, it's more of an introduction course to what is leadership? How do you handle people? Um, with delegation, time management, reporting, performance management, how do you get results through other people? So that's where we mainly focus on. Mm. Then uh, the other group we target are now the people who've been in senior management position or supervisory positions, and now we want them to take care of the business. So then we train them on strategic uh, leadership skills. So here we focus on coaching, we focus on staff development, mentorship, and the question we try to answer is, how do you get now the business from where it is to that next level? Yeah. Yeah. So this training is tailored for corporate organizations. So why should an organization, why is it important for them to invest in empowering their staff with this training? Yeah, very good question. Mm -hmm. So when you listen to most of us in management, business owners, we always say that people are our greatest asset. Mm -hmm. But now people don't become an asset if you don't empower them. And one way to empower your team is through training. And not just any training, leadership and management skills is very vital, it's very important because if, let's say you have an organization of 500 staff, the reality is their output is dependent on the few people that are managing them. So this is, um, for anyone watching this video, you do understand the importance of making sure that the people at the very top, they can be able to sell your vision they, they are able to manage the staff in terms of the day-to-day -day operational issues. They're able to set for them KPIs, targets. They're even able to motivate them because companies go through challenging times and the employees, they'll be looking up to, you know, those of us who are in leadership to be able to provide a sense of direction. Mm. Yeah. We also teach them things like now to do with emotional intelligence because you're dealing with people and it goes without saying that people will fail in one way or another, but how do you keep your cool? You know, how do you make sure that you don't overreact and that people can still look up to you um, with respect and someone worth following? So I would say there are very, very many advantages of making sure that your leadership team or the people you've identified um, who have potential are equipped with these key skills. Mm. Because if you don't um, succeed at the leadership level, even the business will not be able to get the results that it's looking for. Mm. Yeah. Very true. I agree with, with what you have said. Yeah. Uh, so when you, let's look at the content of the training. Yeah. What should one expect to learn? Great. Then another good question. Today you are full of good questions. <laughs> so the way we go about it is, is organizations are different. So when someone fills the form on the website, we will organize for a meeting because leadership is very broad. So if we are to train you on every aspect of leadership, yeah. we'll probably stay in your office for maybe two months. Yeah. So the initial meeting is to help us understand what gaps have you identified. So if it's someone who's newly new in management or leadership, those ones are easy because we know the areas that we need to focus on. 
but if let's say it's a team you've already had and it's you want to take their skills to the next level then um, we come and have a discussion so for example last week i did have a training and for the client he really wanted us to emphasize on performance management so that's the gap that he had realized yeah. performance management number one and number two on the leader being able now to bring the team together so team management and um, uh, team management skills so for those ones now it was a one day training and i would say 80% of the training focused on those two areas mm. so i wouldn't say that um, it's 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 not uh, off the shelf where you come with just a powerpoint and you take them through a training that wouldn't really help yeah. but us meeting you getting to understand this where you are coming from sometimes we go to the extent of surveying the people who uh, you are looking uh, to be trained and we mm. get to ask them also what do you think are your gaps yeah, yeah. so it's a three part process uh, we get to meet get to understand the gaps uh, number two do we, we we also do a survey where where it's necessary we see we test them on the on the skills mm. so because there's one thing you could be thinking they are lacking in one thing but then you find even they they have more gaps mm. so we do a survey and then after that we do the training and when you do the training we don't just stop there after a month we will come and uh, get feedback and see how are they doing because we trained you on these areas how are you now uh, how are you implementing what we trained you on mm -hmm. and what is the feedback so far yeah mm -hmm. and what you've mentioned could be one of the things that makes uh, corporate staffing stand out offering this uh, training so expound for me more why corporate staffing is unique I think for us, what we bring to the table is um, experience spanning over 10 years. So we've been able to train um, on this, on this, we've been able to offer this training across many organizations. Yeah. So we've trained companies um, in the service industry, we've done manufacturing, we've done NGOs, and even we've done parastatos. Mm. So we find with that, we're able to share the best practices. Mm. So unlike another trainer there whose focus is maybe they have specialized in one or two industries, our experience cuts across. Mm. And beyond the experience, I think the, the process we use is really what sets apart. Mm. So the fact that we meet you and then we customize the training to meet your own needs. Mm. That's what makes a whole lot of a difference. Mm. Because then it's, it's not just a package. Yeah, yeah it's, it's us coming and offering you the tools and the skills that you are unique to your organization and that you help your organization. And then after that, we offer a, a two months. Uh, at no charge uh, support where if it's a manager they can always call me um, if they have a question uh, they, they can always engage us at, at no cost so mm -hmm. that we make sure that the training sinks and should they fa encounter a challenge we are still there for them all right so help me understand uh, from the previous trainings you have done are there any success stories Yes, we've, we've had very many success stories. If I, if I can just mention one, mm -hmm. there was this business owner who came, uh, he runs a medium-sized um, uh, company. And for him, the challenge was, there was a lot of turnover. Mm -hmm. And he didn't understand. At that point, he hadn't understood that the problem was uh, a few managers in the organization. So he recommended a training for the staff. And when we came during the discussion, we got to know that, yes, indeed, uh, the way people relate with each other at the office, there was something amiss. So part of the issue we handled was emotional intelligence. The management team, they, they had heard of emotional intelligence, but they didn't know its application in the workplace. Mm. So we took them through that. And for them, it was just a matter of changing the relationship dynamics at the office. Yeah. And from that, then you found that the team was cohesive and they were able to work uh, with each other. Another company that comes to mind is the one that I talked about, the, the one for performance management. Yeah. Um, they came to us because the leaders, they did not know how to set KPIs. Now, you and I, yes, you work for a HR firm, this might be simple. But for them, they hadn't had this experience. Yeah. So half of the day, like I said, it was sitting with them practically and being able to help them set up the performance, you know, yeah. um, uh, KPIs. So with that, um, I believe because I did a follow-up a month later, now everyone in the company had updated job descriptions. Mm -hmm. They also had KPIs. And the conflicts between the uh, readers, the management staff, 
and the other staff had really gone down because now everyone understood what was expected of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to report that yeah, now their revenue, the business is doing fairly well compared to before the training. Mm -hmm. So we are very keen on not just the training, but also ensuring that um, we can be able we can the we can be able to demonstrate results that yeah. have come from the training yeah. and uh two of those that I've picked up is now having a more cohesive team and the other company now being able really to come up with KPIs and manage their performance in a better way mm. yeah. all right thank you for that how long does the training take and is there any certification great so for the training i will take you back it's customized yes so there are clients who come and uh, for them a one day training, let's say 9 a.m. up to 4 p.m., that does for them. Yeah. The others where we come and we train in a staggered uh, manner. And this is what I would actually recommend. Mm. So you find um, we, for this staggered training, we'll have the training once a week. And then, thank God, because of technology, we mm. have the training, let's say, from 8 a.m. or as early as 7 a.m. up mm. to 10 a.m. Yeah. And then now the remainder of the week, we give the, the trainees assignments, mm. which they can report on before the next training. Yeah. And then come uh, the next week, we also have another training. Yeah. So I find the second model much better mm. for the reason that people are able now to practice what we've trained yeah. uh, in the previous session. And also, if they have questions, they can still be able to um, uh, engage before with the trainer before the actual training. Yeah. So those are those are the two options we offer. So it can be a one-off training, either at your site or at another venue, or it can be staggered, where now uh, we train over a course of, let's say, two months mm -hmm. or whatever period of time uh, we've agreed on. What about certification? Yes, I had forgotten that. So we are a neat um, accredited trainer. Mm. So that means any 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 uh, training that we offer, mm. especially in this area, we are certified by NITA to offer that. And uh, it's a good question you've asked because employers can be reimbursed yeah. if they use a NITA accredited trainer such as ourselves. Mm. Yeah. And that's very interesting. Yeah. So for an employer looking at this video, uh, looking forward to empower their staff, uh, what would you tell them? My message to them is if you're on this page and uh, you have an interest in improving your management team with the right leadership skills, uh, I think you've made the right decision. And the next step is to fill the, uh, your details in the form, provide us with your details, and then we'll organize for a meeting. Mm. Get to know you. The meeting is free. You get to know you, get to understand your gaps, and we can be able to see how can we be able to help you. Mm. And I know training is one area, especially for SMEs, we shy away from. But the reality is, if you want your staff to perform at peak, then uh, you, you training is something that um, you can't ignore. Mm. It's, it's really important, and I've seen it add value, because the assumptions we make as in leadership or management, whatever comes easy to me or naturally, it doesn't mean that that's what the other person is thinking. Mm. And for us, we've learned through experience. So if, you, if you've been in business for, let's say, 15, 20 years, sure, yeah, it's, it's taken you time and you've also learned a lot of things, mm. either um, through mistakes. So why would you want someone to go through that challenge? Mm. So a one-day training or whatever period of time, it can really make a difference. And so this this is a challenge, especially to SMEs and the medium-sized farms. The only the reason why you see multinationals doing very well is because they've invested in uh, the people's skills. Yeah. And the reality is, and I know sometimes this happens. As a business owner, you might be thinking, "Oh, I'll spend this amount of money, and the staff will leave." But think about it: if you also don't train them, they're not also going to perform mm. to your expectation, even if they are still with you in the next one or two months. Mm. So you've got to think long term and also very strategic. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for that insightful session. Uh, it's interesting to know that you tailor make your training uh, depending on the organization, which is very beneficial. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. As you've heard from our expert. Leadership and management training is important to your organization. We are here to help, so leave us with your details and we will be happy to reach out and take you to the next step. Thank you so much and see you next time.